guys, before we get into the deck tech, I want to explain what makes our deck so powerful. You guys know that this is a Boros Aggro list, so let's just see why it's so powerful. Let's go over the decks that are extremely over the top. We have Sultai Control, Ramp, 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 Destroy Your Stuff, over the top. Mono Red, Ignores All Your Stuff, over the top. Teamer Ramp, uh, Cast Genesis Ultimatum, Kill You, over the top. <laughs> Demir Rogues. Kind of less of the top, but still kind of eh. And then we have all these other decks. Uh, there's Cycling, which is over the top. There's the Winota list, which like a bunch of attackers, so over the top. Mono White is definitely over the top. Naya, uh, yeah, it has like nothing except for Bone Crusher. Uh, Prismari Dragon, that deck's pretty over the top. It does have Prismari Command, but compared to most of the other decks is pretty over the top. And as you can see, most of the meta is very over the top. Now let's just go into our deck. Now that we're to the deck tech, let me explain why this deck is so powerful. We start off with our turn 1 aggro plays. We have cards that smash our opponent's face in, like Aspirant, Robber, and Berserker. Then we have the Savior Boy and Usher of the Fallen. Are good one drops. Then we have all our hate. We have big stuff hate or chonky hate. Artifact and enchantment hate, which is what this deck really needs. With so many over the top decks, we just destroy their big stuff and they're kind of just cry themselves to sleep. Um, we have Skyclave Apparition to exile all their annoying stuff. Bone Crusher Giant to deal with those annoying two toughness creatures, and it can get in for lethal a lot. We have four showdown and scalds to draw four cards, and all our stuff gets extra thick. I think it's pretty nice. We have goldspan dragon, which says if you try to shoot it, I get I get money, you know, treasure, you know, big brain. Okay, and then we have two ember cleaves, to smash our opponent's face in, double strike trample, and it has flash. Okay, okay, on to sideboard. We have uh, annoying board wipe hate. We have Adventure Hate and Exile Hate, because there's, there's like Soul Sai Ultimatum and all the Adventure Creatures get wrecked, as well as Graveyard Hate. We have Soul Sai Ultimatum Hate because it casts this spell for free, we just play this and our opponent just cries. They're like, oh, crap. And it's a good finisher. We have Redain, which deals with big chonky non-creature spells, so good versus control. And you can put one in versus Snow Decks. We have more chonky hate, like foreign clex, the annoying green creature. We have red hate, a lot of it, because it's probably one of our worst matchups. This also kills Winota. We have uh, graveyard hate to deal with those annoying, annoying road decks. We have a crow and more to deal with the creature v creature matchups. Does especially well versus mono red, where we steal their ember cleave creature. And we have one more ember cleave. If our opponent is too slow. Now let's jump into that gameplay. And we are into match one. Opponent's quick sort uh, on the play, easy. And I think this is a mole. No white sources. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, we can throw back a land. Turn one spirit. Let's see what they do. Play a snow mountain. It's mono red. Oh, and we draw the red land. Let's go. Do we swing in? No. Okay. Pass the turn. Okay, it's time to slap our opponent around like a dead dog. I do not know why I just said that. Who cares? Excitement is key. Okay. Play aspirant number two. Make this boy chonky and uh, swing in for three. Yeah. Can't kill it with frostbite, so yeah. Okay. Does one damage. Back in the front. That boy indestructible. Pass the turn. Here we go. Uh, next turn we cast Showdown and it's extremely chonky. Now let's see what our oh, opponent passes. Yes! Ah, ah, ah. Take that! <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm 
opponent was just trying to play their mono <laughs> And there's the conceit. Going into game two, we're gonna bring in three red cap melees and one acron war, dumping all the ushers and one showdown. And let's go into game two. And that's a snap keep. Let's get into it. Wow. Okay. Land pass. Okay. Time to place charger. Swings in. Argo. I'll uh, swing with robber. And, and not care about the charge. I don't honestly care. The thick boy. Watch, he's gonna play anus. That's why I like to call him Enix. Enix. Kind of sounds. Ah, oh, no, no. Okay. Pass. Turn. No need. Spencer for one. Fine. Oh my God! Opponent stuck on two lands. <laughs> Showdown. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Our opponent is just the saddest player ever. They're like, I'm gonna play moderate. Oh, uh, get wrecked! Magic straight. <laughs> hey, big man, to that thought. <laughs> okay, monk bot. They get face. And they play Anus. Um, uh, we skyclave that thought. Get that out of here. And we play Spiron. Buffing up this dude. Making it thick. And there we go. They play another Anus and pass the turn. Uh, we melee. And they concede! That's the m And they give up the match. Let's go, boys. On to the next one. And we're on to game two, versing our opponent, Monte Cristo. On the play, nice hand, let's go. No third lamb, but as long as we draw, we should be good. We're playing Sultai Ultimatum. Not the land I wanted, but it, it works, it works. So this deck, we absolutely smash. Uh, they remove our thing, or go. Let's swing in with the robber and pass the turn. Stole Arun's Epiphany. There we go. They cast Nightmare and slap our man. Sag. And let's kill that Nightmare with our Sky Maybe this is just a uh, Sultai control, but then why would they have the ult Epiphany? So yeah. I think it's Ultimatum. They buy Yorian, because. He needs to be bought. Not a human. Too weak. <laughs> they cast Yorian. Flickering nothing, cause they're sad. And weak. We draw land. We gold span. Or sm smack Yorian around. Tough decision. Let's slap Yorian. He's more of a threat long term. He or she. It's a noodle. We don't need... You know, whenever I think of Yorian, I just imagine a really slick noodle. And when you like... <laughs> noodles, it's the best. Okay, we cast Gold Span. Oh! It hits! What are they gonna do? Okay. They slap in. They swing in for two. And we pass. They play uh, Big Brain. Oh, uh, let's play Luminarc Ass Pirate. Uh, put a counter on it. Attack. And uh, pass the turn. Our opponent draws two and puts land. They also scry. Probably digging for their wing con. Oop, maybe they drew it. Uh, verdict. Oh god, whatever shall we do? We definitely don't have a card called Rip Apart. Deal three to target creature. 
only if. 3-3. Three, three. Let's bone crusher. And rip apart. Fast. Wait. Okay. Just checking. And let's go. Maybe our opponent is playing Soul Type Control. They use the Big Brain Buck. They hard cast Sharknado. And pass the turn. Uh, let's slap down Spirit. Uh, swing in for four. They cast. Uh, Omen. They draw and scry. Okay. Looks like not much is happening. Are they gonna take it? Nope. They put the shark in front. And we pass. There we go. The only card we fear is Big Boy Ultimatum. If so, I think we just concede because it makes a bunch of sharks. Okay, let's see what he grabs. We may be fine. This thing is on. Going into game two, we're gonna cut two berserkers and two apparitions. Because the apparition most of the time just gives them a creature, and the berserker is mainly for uh, cleave. And we're gonna put in roiling vertex and rodain because they slap them around. And let's go into game two. On the play, uh, trash hand, small things, easy key. Uh, throw back the giant killer? No, we throw back the apparition. Uh, giant killer path. Opponent plays black land. Uh, let's play aspirant. Making this a thick boy. There we go. We killed our robber. That's all that happened. I not good at this stuff, guys. I'm not used to the whole pause on pause. Getting used to it. Getting used to it. Okay. Slap the thing. There we go. Okay. They cast Cultivate. I don't know what the hand is touching, but we'll ignore this art. Ignore! Okay. Pull Usher. Let's hard cast Bone Crusher and cast. This boy. Let's see what they do. They cast Thick Saga. And I think this is where we concede because we drew badly. Very sad. Very sad. On to the next match. And we are versing Black Frog. Let's see if we win the right dice roll. And looks like we won the dice roll. Easy keep. Looks to be another Yorion deck. Swing in for two, buffing up our dog, and pass the turn. Opponent tried to kill our dude, we sacrificed our doggo. We buy Yorian, uh, we cast Berserker, and make our boys thick. Swing in for six, pass the turn. Opponent be looking pretty dead. We swing in for. Here, and we stomp their face, taking them down to two, and we pass the turn. Oh, they verdict. We draw a land here, we kind of kill them. Nope. Okay. Uh, we cast Bone Daddy. Thick boy. Pass the turn. This man. Do they pass? If we draw a land, we exile top four, and they're kinda dead. Just because of the power of this card. They can't target this, so all, all the hope they have left is that I don't find something to kill that. Ooh! Okay. Back in. Trade. Got a showdown. Exile on top four. Oh! <laughs> 
We just prevent them from taking extra turn. It doesn't matter. This doesn't matter, guys. Ignore the right side of the screen. Oh, wait. Okay, okay. It's so hard to tell if I'm actually recording or not. Kind of drives me nuts. Okay, so we're slapping around this man. Uh, he casts the ultimatum, but we have Bone Crusher, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for him. He grabbed... Gargathroth, Onus, or Onyx, and Birds. If we let him take an extra turn, he wins, so we just take away the extra turn spell. And now he's dead, because Bone Crush Giant. Easy! Doesn't gain any life off of this, because he doesn't have any one mana spells, and he goes to one. Easy wins! And that's game! Let's go. Okay, so this game we're cutting one Berserker and one Rift Apart, as well as two Apparitions and one Gold Span. And let's go into game one Gold Span. Now let's go into game two. Our opponents on the play this game. Let's see what they got. This hand would be good if we were on the play, but we're on the draw, so Mulligan. And this is an easy key. Turn one doggo, turn three ordain, turn four slap our thumb. And somehow after bottoming a land, we draw a land. I question that greatly, but there's nothing I can do. 18 lands, one, two, three, four. 23 lands. That means less than 30%. A little over 30% of our deck is land. And we draw a sixth of those. Bear magic. They foretold something. Uh, let's cast Verdane the Thick and pass the turn. After swinging in. And that's the match. Our opponent just decides to give up on their life. Let's go into the next match. And we jump into our. Fourth match versus Redux Karma, 85% gamer. Our opponent is taking way too long to figure out whether they want to be on the play or the draw. I question them. And they decide it's a good idea to be on the play. That's crazy, I never would have thunk. This is, uh... Keep? really sucks versus a uh, control deck but yeah keep and of course they play snow land on one and it's a black land I'm going to have a fun time this map looks like they are playing Demir control Demir snow which hurts my soul cuz I kept the hand with this many apparitions thinking I was versus an aggro deck only to find my soul crushed. They foretold and pass. I think they have removal or something. Let's see what they do. Kill. Okay. Unfortunately for our opponent, they got defeated! <laughs> what the heck is this? What the. What the heck? Uh, rubber. They opt. Which means they're running low on blue, which means our work here is going well. Stop face. Buff up robber. See what they do. The jibate was clearly the key to our victory. His opponent contemplating life. Be this! Four mana exile target. They play thick new cal time. Um, person, planeswalker, uh, magecraft, gain two, draw two, gain whatever. There has to be an answer here. Wait, what the heck happened? What? <laughs> I thought she was just like, ah, oh! like bro. What? He 
grab a Valky, got him, please. Please. Yes, L I E S. Our opponent makes us sack our thick boy. We draw land. Let's play apparition. To get back apparition. And slap this thought. Okay, we'll play this on white. And let's slap this boy for two. Cause this thought is annoying. If he kills this, I'm just gonna be annoyed. He cycles Sharknado. And we pass. Opponent pluses this thought. Uh, let's uh... Shock the thought. What you gonna do? Oh my god. Why? Let me slap the thought. Slap. <sighs> I'm gonna concede. Going into game two, we're going to cut three ushers, two berserkers, and uh, two skyclaves to put in one more savior, two magistrates, and two redanes. And with that, let's jump into game two. What? Okay. Uh. Saw nothing. Going into game two, we're going to be on the play. So let's pick that and easy keep. Turn one usher, turn two aspirant, turn three magistrate. Let's slap our opponent with the two one. Our opponent's taking way too long. I question what they're doing. Play land and pass. We play land. Play aspirant. Make this play pop. Thing for three. Pass. Oh, we don't want to play the magistrate into removal. So I'm either waiting for like a red source so I can play the robbers. Because those are kind of not as good. Play magistrate. Let's play giant killer. Swing in for or pass. I think this will be the final match because blue decks take way too long to play against. And they're annoying. It's fair. This man is just foretelling like a madman. Can I draw a red land? I'm not playing mono white. My god. I'm gonna kill my opponent with these two one ones. Watch it. Watch me. Why does he play Omnisys? Okay. No land. Pass the turn. Swing in for a little bit. For one damage. You know, casual one. If I draw a red land, I just show down and he's pretty dead. Fortell! Yeah. Better not be a counter spell. Robber of the rich. Robber of the rich. Robber of the rich. Magistrate. Have fun. Nice foretold card. Nice. Oh, an opponent passes the turn. Uh, showdown. Is that. Are you gonna. Oh, he counters. Counters. Swing in for two, pass the turn. Next turn we have lethal. So let's go. This took way too long, but let's see if we can kill him. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh self savior. <laughs> Robber of the rich. Have less cards in hand than you, my guy. 
And that's game two. Uh, no changes to the sideboard. Okay. Last match. Last match. Let's see how we do. Last. Last game of the match. <sighs> that's the turn. Oh, that was just force of habit. This hand is definitely not a key. No second land. Oh. Well, keep one, two, three. Can I undo my decision? I regret everything. <sighs> we drew a doggo, we played a doggo. They opt. There it goes. They kill doggo with enchantment for some reason. We draw land. They opt. That's fun. Imagine if we drew these many, this many lands with the last, last hand. Oh, we'd be set. Oh, easy rook card. See, this is why we play this card. Normally, I'd need Skyclave. Destroy target artifacts and enchantment. Pretty insane. This is quite the boring match. Play Giant Killer. Please, running out of stuff. Counters. Okay. Pass the turn. We didn't want to play showdown into a counter spell. Showdown into counter spell. Look at that! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> we played showdown of the skulls into a counter spell, boys. Never punish! Under my tutelage, even you can master death. Why would we- why would we want to master death? Uh, we played the gold's plan and slept the thought. Oh my, cancel. Wait, 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 which one do we want? Which one do we want? Uh, let's protect our gold span. Doesn't matter what happens to him if he's. Uh, it doesn't matter what airport seat is if he's dead. So yeah. Our opponent is staring at the top three cards. Uh, what's taking them so long? Rune Cur There has to be an answer here. Exile. Okay. Can't do anything about exile. A little bit of a punish, but eh, whatever. We can slap this slot next turn. Should be dead. Okay. Draw land. Oh, they destroyed it. Okay. Showdown. Put a look at that. Oh, let's, let's cast Redane. For three. That'll make him do something about it. That's good. We want him reacting to our stuff. Opponent's being pretty boring. Like, why would you play a blue deck? This deck is so much more fun. Oh. Kills his own creature for some reason. Play Skiora best to see that. We're not looking very good. With this thing, that's not good. It's a no bueno. We have to deal with that. And slap him. So next turn he steals one of our things. Oh! Oh! It's everything. It's his whole board. He dumped his hand, guys. We have a chance. Aspirant's getting really big. We'll play you. Make a thick boy. Oh, no targets. Thick boy. Oh, let's go! Oh, crap. Spread out our counters. Cause then he's just gonna steal our aspirant. And we pass the turn. Steals one of our things. It's our aspirant. Okay. Gonna have to chump lock this thought. He mills us. He mills us with the crab. I think we can win this game. If our aspirants get big enough, it won't matter. 6-6. Six, six. 
Wait. Seven, seven. Eight, eight. Yes. <laughs> Got him. So now this box here, we jump here. Oh no! <laughs> He's gonna remove our aspirant. Uh, wait, is this is this plan the mill plan? Really? Really? <sighs> got 25 cards left in deck. Let's see what he's got. Now we hope he doesn't draw a removal for Aspirant. No! No! Uh, no blocks. We have to get our own... Uh... Why? Why? Flashes and Brazen Borrower. <sighs> I'm very sad. Overall, I think... Okay. And we're back to talk about the deck. Overall, I think the deck went really well. Um, I want to show some stats at the end, so I'm going to do that. But I think one of our problems... We, we have like 23 lands. Maybe we go down to 22, but I, I hate getting lands screwed. I, I thought that was one of the problems we... Sometimes we got land screwed, but maybe that was just me taking bad hands. So let's jump into some stats. <laughs>